This is a quick guide for assembling the T4 Mini quadcopter body, the 3D printed design that's available on thingiverse.com. Uh, this one I'm doing today is a, uh, is a 315 size frame, but the 250 size frame is exactly the same process. So we start off with the body, uh, which is the biggest piece here. And it is as simple as slotting the arms into each corner of the body. Um, you'll see that each arm has a, has a small notch at the end. Uh, that's where the cable ties are going to go through to secure the arm into the body when, in a minute. So we'll just put, uh, put these into here. Okay, so that's the, um, the arms installed, but we need to stop them from coming out. So that's where our cable ties come in. So there's one cable tie on each arm, and it just goes into the small slot here, feeds around the arm, and back out the other side here, and then we can just do them up. I call these cable ties, I'm not sure, zip ties, not sure what other people call them. Um, just tweak that up there. Now to do that while we're holding it, hang on. There we go. And uh, just quickly put the race around the other four as well. So just note the placing of the of the legs of the cable ties. Uh, you'll see that the two lumps um, are near the back here and here. Uh, if they're at the front, it actually makes it too hard to get the front of the bottom tray on. So, and same at the back. The back by the arms, we've got uh, the lump at the back of the of the T4. So I'll just chop off those extra pieces. All right. So that's uh, stage one. The arms are attached to the body. Alright, so stage two is uh, fixing the top plate. Now if we have a look on the, closely on the body here, um, you might be able to see that there are um, little raised pieces on an angle. Um, so the top plate is actually designed to slide in and back at the same time on a 40 degree movement. Now the trick to that is that on the sides at the back here are four little lugs, two on each side. So as you're sliding it down and back, the plate will actually bend until it clips over those lugs at the back. So it can be a little bit fiddly to get this done, but basically what we're doing is lining up the uh, six um, of these little angled lugs. One, two, three, four, five, six. I told a lie, there's eight of them, seven, eight. And pushing down on them, in the middle of the plate and sliding back at the same time. So if you get them located over the top and then just push down and just try and uh, make sure that all eight of them have engaged and then as the, uh, as the frame, as the top slides back it will clip over these little lugs at the back here on each corner and then that is the top plate quite firmly, firmly attached. But just for good measure, we have some more cable ties. And again, just trim those off. Okay, so that is the basic body assembled, and that's pretty solid, ready to go. <coughs> okay, so you'll see that I've um, got the vibration top plate on here, the one with the four, four mounts in the corners, uh, to take these little 
65 gram vibration dampening balls which I got from Hobby King. So they just uh, squash down into these little holes. This can be a little bit fiddly. Uh, I'll just use my pliers here just to push them down into each hole. Right, so they're just going there like that. Right, so the next step is, uh, is fitting the floating plate on top. This can be a little bit tricky, but just getting the uh, the rubber dampeners through the holes. I still haven't figured out if pushing them through or pulling them is the easiest way, so I just keep messing around until it's done. Okay, so there is the Mini T4 top plate vibration plate assembled. The last piece of course is the, uh, is the bottom power tray. Now this is a, um, on the front, there is just a couple of, uh, of sloping tabs and then a few more little locating tabs around about where the cable ties go in. So this slides from the body, it slides backwards and down as it goes on. So we'll talk that in the front there like so, and then clips on the bottom, and again we have the cable ties just to go through these holes down in here. You should find a little, um, a little trick here which is quite handy is just to get the end of the cable tie with these ones and just give it a little bend over so you get a bit of a hook on there, just makes it easier to, um, to get them through these holes and coming back out again like that. Now I won't go through and, and do all these up, there's four of these, there's uh, the one here, um, one at the back, and the same on the other side, but uh, obviously I'll need to start putting some electronics and stuff in here before I build it up completely. So there you go, that was a quick overview of how to assemble the T4 Mini quadcopter body.